stethoscopes. There's so many options. And how on earth are you supposed to know which one you're supposed to choose? In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite stethoscope, the one I used as a bedside nurse, and as well as the one I use now as a family nurse practitioner. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Liz. I'm a family nurse practitioner, in case you missed that from three seconds ago. And I get this question all the time about what kind of stethoscope I use. So I thought I would make a quick video talking about that. Now, I do want to say before going into this, these are some of the only stethoscopes I've ever used. So while I definitely recommend them, there's really not a lot against other brands. Like I've never used MDF. I There's absolutely, like I said, nothing against those other stethoscopes. I just haven't used them. I have only used Litman and I've loved them. So that is what I recommend, but really I don't think you can go wrong. Now yeah, they're tangled. Cool. All right. First, let's talk about the stethoscope that I used and loved as a bedside nurse. So I have a Litman Classic 3. I got this because the benefits of this one is it has adult side and a pediatric side. That was beneficial to me because I was at first, I knew I wanted to do peds eventually, but I wanted one that could do my more adult pediatric patients and my kid patients, but it ended up working out like really, really well because I worked in adult med surge for a few years before I got to go over to peds. So this came in handy for both. I want to say it was around a hundred dollars. I will leave links to all the stethoscopes and equipment I talk about in this video down in the description box below if you want to check it out. So if I were you and you were in nursing school and you think you may one day want to do peds, what, first of all, like if you're in nursing school or MP school, buy the stethoscope that you want to use in your practice when you're in school. That way you learn on it. Because if you're learning on something and you can't hear anything, like if you're learning on a stethoscope, that's like, eh, how are you going to hear the murmur, or hear the breath sounds if you've never practiced on it? So I highly recommend if it's something you're able to do, purchase the stethoscope. And I know they're a little bit pricey, but if you can swing it, maybe ask for it for like a birthday or a Christmas present. Uh, hey, I got a nursing school present. If you can swing buying the stethoscope you plan on using in that role, I think it's gonna be super helpful. So again, this, if you are ever think you might do pediatrics, I would recommend the Litman Classic 3, just because it has both the adult and pediatric side to it. But if you absolutely know you are only going to do adults, I've also used a Litman Classic 2 SE, and that is really, really lightweight. And that has a head that looks more like a little bit like an arrow and it doesn't have the pediatric side. It does have the bell on the other side, but it is very lightweight. And if you know from wearing a stethoscope like this gets, even though it doesn't seem like it's heavy, even just this much weight around your shoulders gets like super uncomfortable. So anything that can be a little bit lighter, definitely recommend. So if you know like, oh, I'm only gonna do adults, for sure I would recommend the Litman Classic 2 SE. That will be a lot kinder to your shoulders. I actually wore, I would only buy scrub pockets that had a side pocket and I put my stethoscope in my side, my pants side pocket after a while because it was just like too heavy. Some people have the little belt clip. <laughs> I was never on that level, but you know, it's weird how it like starts to weigh down on your head. But I guess let's be real, we didn't, I didn't even wear my stethoscope around my neck all the time. <laughs> no, not many people really actually do that. Do you wear your stethoscope around your neck all the time? I guess I'm curious if you're, if you work in healthcare or if you don't, it's kind of weird if you don't work in healthcare and you wear a stethoscope around your neck, but no judgment. But do you wear your stethoscope around your neck all the time? I feel like I would put it on for my assessments or if like my patient was not doing well, I would have it on. Um, but usually at that point, there were a lot of other people there. Curious, all right, that tangent's over. So that's my basic recommendation for if you are a nursing school or you're a nurse, Lipman Classic 3, if you're like, mm, maybe I can see children one day or Classic 2, if you are pretty solid that you're gonna be doing adults only. I would not buy a stethoscope that does pediatrics just for your pediatric clinical rotation. Not worth it. Also, a side note, I get asked a lot if you should buy a infant stethoscope. I would wait. Uh, if you think you want to work in pediatrics, wait to buy an in infant stethoscope. My hospital actually provided some infant stethoscopes. And if you work in the NICU, that's really only the time, or if you're working with a lot of babies that you would even need an infant stethoscope, but I would hold off and wait until you either get a job in the NICU or, and see like one, do you need one or two, do they provide them? Cause some provide them so that they're like sterile and clean in that space. So I would not worry about buying a an infant stethoscope if that's something that you're even considering. Also, random tip about your stethoscope, if, for, if you're doing it for your nursing job, I would recommend getting your stethoscope in a fun color. I got 
purple, which is not like the most standout color. But if I was gonna get it again, I would get it in probably some like brighter color that stands out a little bit more and I would engrave it. And I'm not a huge engraving person or I would get one of those things that you can get like clips and they sit here and your name goes across it because stethoscopes go missing all the time. You lose them very often because you like take it off and you just like put it somewhere and then it's gone for a while. Somehow this is, this is my one from like nursing school. I don't know. We've lost each other and come back to each other many times. But if I'm, like I said, I'm not like an engraving or like monogram type of person, but if you can get your name on it somewhere or even get one of those clips or have something in a color that kind of stands out, everybody obviously has a stethoscope and they are, they're like pens. They just kind of wander off sometimes. And if it's in more bright color, everyone's like, oh yeah, I did see that like bright orange stethoscope. You know what I mean? Like floating around. So if you're prone to losing things or could see that in your future, get that. Although they do have really sleek ones now that are like all black. White also, I guess we're going on a color tangent. White is a rough color. It looks really cute, but you're, it gets all the dirt on it and it looks dirty usually fairly quickly. And or your scrub, like the color, like the dye from your scrubs can wear off on it. So I usually discourage people from going with a white stethoscope just cause they end up looking kind of grimy and something like purple or a different color usually hides it a little bit better. All right, let's talk about stethoscope I use as a family nurse practitioner. I use a Lippmann Cardiology 4. This was widely recommended by most of my preceptors had a Cardiology 4, most of the other physicians, PAs, NPs, like pretty much around the board. It seems like if you were not, if you're working in like a general population, this seems to be good enough as a provider. It, unless you're working in like cardiology and you really need to, you know, they even have ones now that are like electronic. So I think across the board, this is a great one. Again, if you can get this or something on this level prior to going into school, that's really helpful. I didn't buy mine until I had a job. However, my preceptor had two and like lent me one. So I used hers until I graduated and then I bought my own, but it was really helpful to be able to learn that way you can differentiate like the crackles and the different, like all the different murmur sounds. How are you going to actually hear that? Unless you're listening with like a good stethoscope that can kind of differentiate those sounds. Benefits of this are it has better, like a little bit better auditory quality than the classic three or two. It again has the adult and the pediatric size. It's pressure sensitive. So the harder when you push harder, it can hear higher tones. And if you pull back and press lightly, it hears those lower sounds. And it's just a good, I like this stethoscope. I got this one in black cause I thought that just looked like more classic. I wasn't going, I was not planning on probably losing my stethoscope as much in a provider role. So this is the one I definitely recommend if you are going that route. Now I do get some people who are like, well, I know I want to be an NP. So should I just get a cardiology four and use that as my bedtime job? I probably wouldn't. This is an expensive stethoscope. It's almost twice as much as this one. So I would rather lose my cardiology, you know, take it to the hospital and lose it versus losing this one. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive. So I would probably still recommend getting separate ones and just keeping them. You're gonna wanna keep this in your work bag, your nurse one. And this one, you're probably gonna wanna keep in your clinical bag or your NP bag or whatever kind of provider you are. And those are the two stethoscopes that I have loved and used. One other question I get is, you know, should I, if I'm going into critical care or anything like that, should I go for the cardiology for as a bedside nurse? And I would honestly say no. This, the classic is good enough to detect murmurs and it's good enough to detect adverse lung sounds. It's not quite as specific, like you can't pick up crackles quite as well or like tiny wheezes, but it's enough to notify people of like, hey, I hear something and it can, it really has honestly like really good, pretty good detection. Um, I hear something to call the people in who are then going to go and do more about it. Whereas with the cardiology four, when you are in the role of the person who now is being called in, you want to be able to hear to the best of like to a little bit of a higher quality. So that's why I still recommend it. I'm like, you don't really, as the bedside nurse, you don't necessarily need to differentiate or grade the murmur. Um, but as a provider, you would be expected to do that. You know what I mean? Like this will detect it and this will grade it if that makes sense. And I think that's all I've got for you on stethoscopes. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Do let me know if you wear them around your neck. Um, and let me know your favorite stethoscope down below. Cause like I said, this is just kind of the brand that everyone had recommended to me and I tried. So I have never tried a lot of the other popular ones out there. I'm really think like, I mean, especially when you're going at the classic two or three level, I think there are probably a lot of comparables. Um, I don't honestly know if there's a ton of like what else would be on this level of the cardiology four. I feel like I'm just like, <laughs> like in those bell choirs, ding, 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 ding. All right.
I'm sorry. I don't know of an equivalency for the cardiology for, but I know like MDF and a few other brands have um, good classic ones that are like on the level of a classic two or a classic three. All right, let's put those aside. Oh, side note, let me show you. Bjorn Hall, I've worked with them before. She makes stethoscopes that are actually really good that are on the level of a classic two or three. Hers are good, I'll link hers down below too. And she is actually a nurse who like started that company. But this is what I keep my stethoscope in and I'll leave this link down below. My cardiology four, it like folds up in here and it's one of my favorite things. This would be like a cool preceptor gift, but it just sits in there and it protects it. So my classic two never got that treatment, but I love this thing. It looks like a little clutch. So recommend this. I've been using this for like over a year and it's um, probably why my stethoscope still looks like it's in great shape. I was like comparing the two. I was like, wow, that one, another one has had a rough life. You've seen some things. Okay, as I throw it on the floor. Hope that was helpful for you. If you liked videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I new videos like this every other week. I have Q and A's on the off weeks and then a vlog on Saturdays where I talk about my life inside and out of work as an FNP. Leave me all your favorite stuff down below so everyone can learn from you as well because obviously this is just my opinion and my opinion, while I think should be the only opinion, it is not, just kidding. It's really good that we, you know, we need all the people for the world to go around. All right guys, have a great weekend, not weekend. <laughs> Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye.